Hello, I'm a BX Toy Cat, and welcome back to another video. Today I have another Math Slash Minecraft video for you, which I know is a really weird sell, but a lot of you did enjoy my previous videos on how long it would take to destroy an entire Minecraft world, and I've been all, I've been really curious for a really long time now, ever since I heard someone's trying to walk to the edge of the Minecraft world, how long would it take to walk there if you made it your full-time thing, you did it every single hour, of every single day, until you got it done, and that's what I figured I'd answer in today's video, because the goalposts have shifted a little bit. Now, instead of the Far Lands being at 12 million blocks, there is a Minecraft world border at 2.5 half times that distance but again today I figured I'd do the maths and let you know how long it takes you to walk to the very edge of the Minecraft world so hopefully you do all enjoy this video if you do like it like the video and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you do like these sorts of maths slash Minecraft videos again they take a bit more time so I'd very much appreciate the support but with that said let's get straight into actually explaining the numbers and stuff because when you hear 30 million blocks get to the edge of the world you might think oh 30 million that's not really too many look how many blocks I'm walking over right now that's been at least like seven in the last five seconds but the thing that makes this a lot you know uh <laughs> more complex than just 30 million blocks is when you compare that to other sizes of Minecraft world. So if you've ever played the Pocket Edition or you've ever played the Console Editions, you'll know that the Pocket Edition world is 256 by 256 and the Console Edition world is uh, 864 by 864, which means that the PC size world is actually in any one direction uh, like 35,000 times uh, the uh, length to get from one side to the other um, and that a Pocket Edition world is almost uh, or more lesser than a 100,000th of the time to cross the map. And given that those maps aren't exactly fast to cross, when you multiply it by an order of like literally tens of thousands, you get into this crazy realm of, oh, that's gonna really take some time. But yeah, with that said and out of the way, uh, now you know there is a world border, you know that it happens at 30 million blocks. Just in case you haven't seen it, by the way, here's what it looks like. So let's teleport to the very edge. You actually see just the edge here. This is the world border. This is what you would re uh, this is what you would be rewarded with if you made it all the way to the edge of the world. And it's a pretty cool thing to look at, assuming it doesn't try to kill you like it's doing right now. So let's just, uh, let's just teleport right back to the spawn, go to 070 and hope this doesn't kill me which there is a, a, a reasonable chance that she will. I oh, know I just spawned on the surface. How very perfect. But yeah, uh, that's what the uh, edge of the world board looks like, just to show it does exist. In case you're like, wait, so you can't, the world doesn't end. It does end, you just have to get really far. And also, you don't you, you don't want to teleport inside blocks, because that's a bad idea. But yeah, that is the edge of the world. How long does it take to get there? So we know some of the key information it, uh, that we need to work out to get there. First of all, we know one block is exactly one meter cube. This is one of the key facts of Minecraft. If you look at this block right here, it's one meter by one meter by one meter. And that means that we know that 30 million blocks is 30 million meters. 30 million meters is 30,000 kilometers. I know some of you don't use the metric system, looking at you America, but 30,000 kilometers is the distance to get from spawn to the edge of the world, and uh, we also know that the player runs at about 5.6 meters a second. I assume you're going to be running this if you're making it a full-time thing. You're not going to be going at a leisurely jog and taking in the surroundings for all 30 million blocks. Instead, you're probably going to be sprinting, and sprinting is quite a bit faster than walking. Again, 5.6 meters a second, and given that there is as many seconds as there is an hour, that means if you do this continuously for a whole hour, you will run for 20.2 million blocks in one direction. Oh, sorry, 20 20.2 thousand blocks in one direction. Not a million, that would be a bit crazy. But yeah, that means uh, 22,200 uh, blocks an hour. That's a pretty decent amount of progress, but it's not really that much of a dent in the 30 million blocks. So how many hours would it take to eventually reach that end? It's going to take 1,485 and a little bit hours to reach the very edge of the world if you sprint the entire time. And, uh, you know, 1,485 hours is pretty intimidating by itself, but that's actually 62 days. That's assuming you take the perfect route where somehow there's no water in the way. You can see right here, I can't sprint across this because it's it's water I have to sprint round if I want to or swim through it which neither, uh, neither option is really too uh, you know uh, ad ad advisable I guess but yeah as well as that uh, it assumes that you don't get to sleep in real life and the reality time here is if you take 8 hours of every day to sleep and 16 hours to sprint which uh, I really don't recommend actually doing that but that's something you can do then eventually you'll arrive there in about 90 days so in 3 months you could run all the way to the edge of the Minecraft world and given that I hear in America your summers are 90 days maybe that's a fun summer project you should do Parker please, please don't but yeah with I also said uh, that's 90 days assuming perfect conditions that's assuming no time to stop to eat as you can see I've done it like three or four times this video already um, but that's also assuming you take the perfect route but what if we assume those two things are true so let's assume uh, first of all that's going to take about 31 million blocks because maybe you get an unlucky spawn and it's like 30 point you know zero one million blocks but then also assume that you got to run around rivers and it or run around rivers run around lakes because in this case we can't run or swim across that if we swim it takes so much time off us so instead we have to go around which adds a lot of 
blocks to our total run distance. Let's just assume 31 million. I think that's a say, uh, that's a conservative estimate. Uh, it could be a lot more, but 31 million is pretty fair in my opinion. And then let's also assume that you have to eat for, you know, for, let's say, <laughs> you know, 25 seconds an hour, and that you have to sleep every single day because you probably also don't want to run at night. That's another assumption we've made. So let's assume you place down your bed each night. You wait, let's find a place for the bed. You place down your bed each night. You sleep in it. Then you wake up and you play, uh, take your bed and you keep on running that way. If you did this, then you're going to waste about 25 seconds an hour sleeping because five seconds a time, five nights every uh, hour, roughly, if you sleep every time. Uh, and then let's also assume that you'd spend 25 seconds eating uh, and then assume you got 34 million blocks. And that means a more realistic time is 65 days or about 100 days if you were to actually factor in uh, break times, which again, doesn't sound too bad, really, does it? I mean, you just have to start now and then finish uh, if, at the date of this video uh, being made, recorded. You'd finish somewhere in the region of October. Not not too bad at all, right? But yeah, <laughs> this is this is assuming you decide to do it in the other world, because if you do decide to go to the edge of the world, I implore you not to do this 100-day quest, because as cool as it would be to, you know, do on the first day, and as cool as it might be even on the second day where you're like, yeah, I'm going to make it eventually, by day 30, you're probably going to be down a bit. So what's a way of doing this much faster than waiting 30 whole days? Uh, what's a way of doing it in less than a week, in fact? So there is one way, there is a way to significantly speed up your time, in fact, uh, decrease it by a factor of eight, and you probably could guess it, but it's using the never, because the never, if you don't know, uh, has an overworld equivalent of like one to eight, which means to get to, you know, zero, 30 million, zero, uh, for zero, for instance, let's just say that's our coordinates. Oh wait, it'd be 30 million, zero, 30 million. If you wanted to get there, for instance, then what you could just do is you can make yourself a never portal, like I've just done over here. You can go in the nether portal, then you can get to 3.75 million in the nether, then you can make another nether portal and run back through it. So bear in mind, this is going to give you a significant degree of risk because, <laughs> you know, it's the nether. Also bear in mind, you're going to have to take a slightly uneven path, so let's assume 4 million blocks. But still, you can do it in about 1 eighth the time of the overworld, which is really, really handy because that turns that 100 days into about 12 days. But again, I said there's a way to do it in less than a week. What is that? So as you're all probably aware, running isn't the fastest method of travel in Minecraft. Uh, using a boat is faster, using a Minecraft cuts faster, but neither of those two things is practical to do in the never and to do over this sort of distance. Also, this is a really laggy gas. Um Neither of those things uh, are practical in the Never. There aren't really ma many opportunities to use a boat. I mean, uh, at least not in my experience. So yeah, uh, what, what can you do to travel faster than the Never? And the answer to that is use a horse. So if you use a horse and you get the perfect horse, which you'd want to do if you're embarking on a challenge this long, uh, then you can actually run at 14.5 meters a second. That's almost three times the speed of sprinting. Again, it's a really rare to find that sort of horse, but if you if you breed for it, you really, really try it. I've made guys how to do that. You can get yourself a horse that runs at 14.5 meters a second, and that is before you consider the fact that you can and then add in a uh, you know, 40% bonus from Potions of Swiftness. So make sure that you get a splash one so you can use it on the horse. For now, I've just got one for me. But this adds another 40% to your speed and therefore removes... Uh, something like 33% from your time, or I guess it, yeah, something something like that from your time, maybe it's 30%, but it removes that amount from your time, which means that if you were to use a horse, add 40% speed to it, you'd be moving at about 18 uh, meters a second, I think that's what, it's like 19 meters a second, something like that, insanely fast, and you only have to travel one eighth the distance to 3.75 million blocks, so how long does it take to do that? Only 50 hours, because you're moving at 75,000 blocks an hour, again, that's assuming you can find a path that's roughly even, then you'll be able to get to the end in about 50 hours, hours, or more realistically, about two days and a bit. So yeah, do you have like a, an, an ambition to get to the edge of the Minecraft world? All you have to do is get yourself a bunch of uh, speed potions. You're going to need a, a real decent number of them. Get yourself some food so you don't starve. Get yourself, uh, you know, uh, two sets of nether portals, and then go through the nether on the fastest horse you can find, and maybe two to three days later, I'll see you on the other side. So yeah, that's how long it takes to <laughs> cross an entire Minecraft PC world. Please don't decide to do this. If you, if you do have like three months of free time, I don't know, maybe like voluntary a cat shelter or something. I, I feel like it might be uh, a slightly better use of your time, or do this instead, or do both at the same time. I'm just saying, um, that's th those are some words and stuff you might have enjoyed. I hope you did all enjoy this video. If you did, like it and let me know, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's know you do like it. Look at, I love how fast you go to speed to this. I might do this forever. You know what, should we just embark on the chat challenge right now? Live in the video. Okay, no, that's not. But yeah, uh, like the if you really liked it, share if you really liked it, uh, wait, share it if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel, and I'm considering doing more of these, like, crazy mathematical questions, because I've really been enjoying, like, uh, there was one like, the max XP level, how long it takes to destroy a world. I've been enjoying them, and if you do too, then a like rating is a way to um, say stuff. So thank you very much for watching. That's the worst sell ever. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.